Hey, boys and girls, this is Mrs. Crosswhite. I hope you guys got a chance to listen to Mrs. Goldman's Read Aloud. Pigeon books are some of my favorite books. Mo Willems is actually one of my favorite authors and illustrators, too. So what we're going to be doing today is I thought it would be great if we drew our own pigeon with our own saying. So I'm going to teach you how to actually draw a pigeon today. This is my favorite pigeon book. I know Mrs. Goldman read you a different one, but The Pigeon Wants a Puppy is hands down my favorite because who doesn't want a puppy? What we're going to do is we're going to go through a drawing together on how to draw your own pigeon, okay? And we're going to do it twice. Once we're going to do kind of just his head, and then the second time I do it, I'm going to show you how to draw his whole body. But if you're looking for another really good pigeon book, this is an awesome one. All right, so you're going to need a piece of paper, a pencil, an eraser, and a black marker, okay? It would be great if you have markers and crayons, too, but those are optional. So you don't need to have markers and crayons, but markers and crayons are definitely a good plus. So we're going to go ahead and start drawing Pigeon. Now, this is the nice thing about Pigeon. Pigeon uses a lot of simple shapes. And the first one is a circle for his head. So I'm going to go ahead and draw the best circle I can for Pigeon's head. Now, Pigeon has very large eyes, which is also a good thing. So I'm going to draw another circle inside that smaller circle. If it looks a little funny at first. That means chances are you're doing it right. The next part is his pupil. The pupil is the dark black circle on the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and draw that. And if you want, you can kind of shade it in for now. We can always color it in later. Now, the tricky part is Pigeon's beak. Pigeon has two parts to his beak, the top part and the bottom part. The top part's a little bit bigger. So I'm going to go ahead and draw the top part of his beak. I'm going to make a rainbow, a little rainbow that comes right out of the circle of his head. And now we're going to draw a smaller rainbow on the inside of that. So I'm going to start right here and make a smaller rainbow. And there's the top part of his beak. Now the bottom part of his beak needs to be a little bit smaller. So, But this time it's going to be the other way around. It's going to be like a little smile. So I'm going to make a little smile that comes out of the box. Now, boys and girls, while I'm drawing, if I ever go too fast, you can always hit the pause button. And if you need to, you can always go back a couple steps. All right. Now, after we have that little smile, I'm going to do another little smile. And there's Pigeon's beak. All right. And there's usually a little line right there on the top part of his beak. Now is his neck. So I'm going to go ahead and draw his neck. His neck is pretty easy. It's two lines that come down. And then there's two stripes that go across for his little stripe. Now, here's a pretty good pigeon so far. But here's the thing about pigeon. Pigeon shows a lot of emotions in his book. Well, in his books. So Pigeon can go from being pretty happy and content to actually being a little bit upset sometimes. And a lot of these emotions he shows with his eyes. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a second to think about what kind of emotion or feeling you want your Pigeon to have. Okay? Because I can tell by this. He's not very happy, and his eyes help show that quite a bit. So there's a couple things you can do. You could add some eyebrows to show that he's surprised. His eyebrows could also show that he's a little bit angry. So I want you to take a minute and think about how you're going to show that emotion with your pigeon. I think Pigeon's kind of funny when he's a little bit angry, so I'm going to use his eyelid to show that he's just a little bit angry in an eyebrow, because sometimes he's kind of funny when he's a little cranky. And there's my Pigeon. Now, another important thing we have to add to our Pigeon is his speech bubbles. 
Those are the little bubbles that connect to what he's saying. So I'm going to take a minute and I'm going to go ahead and add that. And this is the easy part, believe it or not. If you can write the letter V, you can make a speech bubble because you start off with the letter V. And you can make your speech bubble any shape you'd like. It can be a rectangle. It can be a big oval. It's up to you. And this is the part where you can ask mom or dad to help you with your writing. So I can go ahead and write my saying for pigeon. So for me, my pigeon is saying he wants to go to school because boys and girls, I am missing school quite a bit. Now, this is if we want to draw Pigeon's head. And I'm going to go ahead and take my black marker, and I'm going to start outlining all of Pigeon. And I remember this pupil part of his eye is actually black. And believe it or not, Mo Willems, the author and illustrator, is actually quite an accomplished artist. He has had gallery showings. He's even had exhibits in museums. It's quite impressive. He's one of my favorite people, actually. He's pretty cool. But you have to to come up with cool characters like this. All right. So there's my pigeon. Now remember, you don't want to use my saying. You want to do your own saying. So I can't wait to see what your pigeon is going to say this week. Because I know it's going to be a fun one. And there's my pigeon. Now, the next part, of course, is always fun. You can add color with using markers or crayons. But I told you I was also going to show you how to draw all of pigeon if you wanted to. So that's if we just want to draw pigeon's head. Let's say we want to draw pigeon's entire body. Again, it's, luckily, he's made of some pretty simple shapes. So I'm going to start off with a circle for his head again. And we're going to work our way down. And then two lines for his neck. Now, the next part is his body. And his body, boys and girls, I like to say looks like a boat. So I'm going to draw a big smile, a big smile, because we're in art class right now, so we should all have our big smiles on, right? And then a straight line. And it almost looks like one of those boats you draw with like the little sail and mast right here. And there's Pigeon's body. And luckily, Pigeon has some pretty simple legs. And he's got three toes on his legs. Now, there's just the kind of basics. I'm going to draw a line that comes out from his body. And this is going to turn into one of his wings. It's going to curve back around. I'm going to erase this little line right here. So I'm not going to see that. Now, we're going to go back to his head. So we remember Pigeon has big eyes. So I'm going to make a big circle on the inside of my circle of his head. And another circle on the inside that I'm going to shade in. Now, the tricky part, his beak. There's my little rainbow. And another little rainbow. And a little smile. And a little smile. And I almost forgot the stripe on his neck. And I am actually going to have him be surprised. And there is my pigeon, if I wanted to draw my entire pigeon, his whole body. And I'm going to do another speech bubble. So we start with that V. And then maybe this time it's going to be a circle. And don't forget, you want to add something to that speech bubble. I'm excited to see what you guys come up with for your own pigeon sayings. 
I'm going to take my marker and go ahead and outline my pigeon. And don't forget about color, boys and girls. Color is always fun. But we might not have enough time in this video for that part. And my pigeon's telling you guys how much I miss you. I hope you had fun with these drawings, and I cannot wait to see what your pigeon says. And if you guys really want, you can go down to the next couple slides, and you can actually hear me read you a pigeon book. But I just to let you know, I'm not as good as Mrs. Goldman. I hope you guys had fun this week. Can't wait to see what you draw.